How's it howling, everyone? Vin Wolf here, talking more about Smash. Because what else are we gonna talk about here? Well, there is that new jump, Shonen Jump game. That could be a lot of fun to talk about. Can we talk about that at some point? After, okay, after Smash. Is it an option? That's all I'm asking. So Bodgy Master Obster 98 commented on my recent Sean Pei video saying the case for Bandana D and that Gino, Isaac, Skull Kid, Shantae, did he say Skull Kid? No, he did not say Skull Kid. Shantae and Bandana D needed to become playable fighters. And I know the internet has been abuzz with people wanting the cute and cuddly little guy. So here we are. Take everything I say with a bit of a grain of salt. I don't know too much about the character, but you know what? I'm covering it for you, Bodgy Master Opster 98. First and foremost, let's get the most obvious fact out of the way. Bandana D has a lot going for him. He's one of Kirby's oldest allies, dating all the way back to Kirby's superstar for the SNES and the minigame Megaton Punch. He's been in a total of 10 Kirby games so far, and in all of those games, Kirby hasn't had to fight him once. Whereas you look at other allies like Meta Knight or King DDD, where, you know, there has been fights and quarrels in the past. As a spear user, he has a lot to add to Smash Brothers that we haven't seen so far. And he has a simple moveset, but it makes itself. Spear throw, the waddle copter, spear plunge, multi-spear thrust. He's got a lot of different moves that could, that could be incorporated. Not to mention his inclusion would complete the quartet from Kirby's Return to Dreamland on the Wii. Another thing he's got going for him is the franchise he comes from. Kirby is one of the biggest franchises Nintendo has, certainly one of the most well known at the very least. And you can certainly make the argument that Kirby needs more representation as it is one of Nintendo's biggest and most well known IPs. Biggest thing probably going for him though is the Sakurai bias. Masahiro Sakurai was the one to create Kirby. Now granted having said that, I couldn't find anything linking Sakurai to Bandana D specifically, but why shouldn't he show his first character's franchise a little extra love? Now having gone through all that, there's definitely quite a bit more that's actually working against Bandana D. And the first and the biggest problem we need to overcome here to get Bandana D into the game is his race. That's racist. Waddle Dees are essentially the Koopas of Kirby, whether they're unique like Bandana D or not. Why would you allow a Waddle Dee with a bandana and spear to be in Smash, but then make an argument against, say, a Koopa with a helmet and hammers, or a Koopa with robes and a magic wand? If you allow one in, you have to allow all of them in. The Sakurai bias is also kind of a double-edged sword. While Sakurai did create Kirby and we've seen a good amount of Kirby representation through the Smash games, it seems like Sakurai is only interested in showing off the aspects of the franchise that he himself had a hand in. To my knowledge, there is absolutely nothing connecting Bandana D to Sakurai outside of one maybe two cameos in various games. And more so, there's the fact that Bandana D really just hasn't been particularly relevant since Return to Dreamland. And especially with the Smash Ballot being such a big factor, that really hurts his chances. And yeah, I'll even go so far as to admit that in Superstar Allies, the most recent Kirby title, Bandana D does appear as an apparition, but it is just that, an apparition. It's not even the real Bandana D. Not to mention, there are so many other Spear users that could still pop up, even if they're unlikely to appear at all. We know that Crystal from Star Fox has already been confirmed to be a assist trophy, but before then, she would have made an excellent candidate. You also have more recently Nifa with her trident from Breath of the Wild, or Impa with her Naginata. Not to mention all the different Fire Emblem characters that could do it, even if the franchise already has a good amount of representation in Smash. I know that there's a number of people who really, really want Bandana D, and they're gonna hate me score. They're gonna hate me scoring here. I'm Pirate Joe this week. Bearing all this in mind, when I go to score a Bandana D, I'm going to apologize ahead of time because not many people are going to appreciate what I think, but I give Bandana D a 30% chance score. There are two huge factors that come into play with this scoring. The first one, like I said before, is the Sakurai bias as a double-edged sword. Sakurai just doesn't have a direct connection to this character other than the fact that he appeared in his first franchise. From what we can tell in Smash before, when it comes to Kirby, Sakurai is only interested in representing aspects that he had a personal hand in. Bandana D just doesn't fit that. 
Then there's also the fact that picking Bandana D would just open the floodgate to any and all characters, no matter how big or small. There's also the fact that picking Bandana D would open the floodgate to any character, no matter how big or small they may be. It's just like allowing in an anime character. It would open the floodgate for any manga character who has a big enough fan base to start requesting him for Smash. Sakura has already received a ton of backlash for excluding characters like Waluigi or Crystal, characters that a lot of people were requesting, but they only got the assist trophy status, Waluigi especially. With that kind of criticism that Sakurai has gotten, I don't understand why he would set himself up by putting in a basic character like Waddle Dee. So yeah, that's where we're going to land on Bandana D. I'm sorry to all you guys who really, really want him in. I just think he's not relevant enough. He, to my knowledge, he didn't have a heavy presence on the Smash Ballot. There's just a lot that's working against him, and I just feel like Sakurai's going to pass him up in favor of other characters. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. Could be wrong. We'll find out soon enough. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you I hope you will forgive me this time because I just don't expect it. But I will see you all in the next video. I hope. But until then, stay blessed everyone. That was the weirdest salute I've ever done. Who's next?